Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for joining me tonight. Aquarius. Aquarius. Using the Gilded Tarot tonight. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. The Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. Oh, nothing to see. Nothing to distract your mind. Just you, me, and spirit. Aquarius. Some kind of truth coming in. What am I feeling? I'm feeling somebody's in love with you, Aquarius. Some kind of truth coming in. Someone wants to come and give you some kind of truth. Someone that's in a nightmare. The nightmare card. Sleepless nights. Pacing the floor. Bad dreams. Anxiety. Something ended. But in ending, there's renewal. In ending, there is renewal. Justice. Karma. Karma. See what we can find out here. If you want to know about your person, Aquarius, there's some sort of fighting around them. Or they're fighting with themselves. Or they're fighting with the universe. Fighting maybe their own karma. Wondering why is this crap happening to me all of a sudden? Walking away. Fighting, walking away. Having the sensation, I gotta go, I gotta get out of this mess. I gotta get out of this connection. But fighting it. <laughs> Could be someone that you shared a home with. This is joy. This is love. This is success, everything that you want. Ten cups full. This is everything you want. Family. Children. Wheel of Fortune. Let's find out which way it's turning. And who it's turning towards. Oh my God. This is manifestation. I'm picking up on someone's manifestation. I knew I was feeling love. But it's something, something much deeper than that. It goes deeper than love. There's something deeper here. What is it, Aquarius? What's deeper? There's some kind of a connection between you and your person that goes deeper than love. Manifesting. Manifesting the wheels are turning in their favor. Manifesting home, happiness, love, marriage, children. Truth is really hitting this person hard. Truth is hitting them hard. Why they left. Karma's hitting them hard too and they're fighting to not walk away. They're telling themselves to walk away but... Something keeps fighting them, saying, don't walk away. Manifesting. Now, somebody was sneaky here. 
Somebody was sneaky. In what way? Okay. So we've got Scorpio. We have swords. We have cups. Water. We have Gemini. Got a lot of swords. Somebody was sneaky. Somebody's doing a lot of thinking about what happened. A very slow moving energy. Very slow. That horse is standing still while the rider sits there and thinks, should I? Shouldn't I? Should I just sit up here on the horse? What is this sneaky? Here comes a text message. Quick, fast. I guess they thought about it. But there's something, something here. We gotta, we gotta crack it. We gotta find out what exactly is going on. Why do I have so many reminders of someone leaving being left out in the cold leaving refuge right behind them probably knowing that Aquarius is still there I see their light on maybe I should go in there but I mean we've got ending we've got walking away We've got being left out in the cold. Three reminders here of what happened. Three reminders of someone leaving. Someone's in a lot of torment here. Thinking about the leaving a lot. I left, I left, I left. Over and over, I left. Wanting to communicate. And when they start wanting to communicate, they think, Oh, God, I left. I think, Aquarius, I think this person wants you to go to them. Because all they can think about is manifesting, praying for the Ten of Cups, praying for the wheel to move in their favor. You know, some sort of karma biting them in the ass here. And all they can think about other than the nightmare card, is the truth is hitting them. They left. They left. They left. And they left. Over and over and over. Repetition. I'm thinking I was sneaky. And I left. And I still have a lot of passion for them. Look at this horse's front legs rearing up a lot of passion here wanting to charge forth but I left still got a lot of passion hmm but I left and I think this person is having a hard time dealing with the possibility that they left person could be younger than you, could be a little immature, want to bring a small gift, yeah it is Christmas, bring a small gift or a gift of the tongue, communication, text message, hi how are you, just want to wish you a very very Merry Christmas, and God love you darling. Icebreaker. That's what that is. <laughs> oh my God, they see you as the Empress. The mother to all. The Empress. All four queens go to this lady for advice. All four queens couldn't match this lady. This is all four queens in one. 
the Empress. This is someone who can get an idea, put it in their head, and make it come to pass. Again, thinking, 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 overthinking. Let me sit and think about it. Big thinker. Big, big thinker. Soulmate connection from the past. Well, yeah, there's no doubt about that. Wanting to talk. No doubt about that either. Wanting to talk. Wanting to talk. My God. This is wealth. Now, wealth doesn't have to mean money. Wealth can mean love. Wealth can mean communication. Good, good, good communication. Let's see what's going on. Holy crap. Two people very much in love. Calling in the third. Who's the third? You know, the neighbors, co-workers, friends, family. Some guy walking down the street. Come on in. Big celebration. But is it happening? Is it happening? Or am I picking up on someone's manifestation? Thinking, 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 not moving. Thinking, 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 not moving. Thinking. I got to talk. But I was left out in the cold. But I left. I've got so much passion. I want to bring them a gift. I, I, I want to tell them how beautiful they are. But look how beautiful they are, the Empress. Thinking. Nothing is moving here, Aquarius. It's very still. It is all here. in the great magician. It is all thought. They're my soulmate. Wealth, Ace of Pentacles. I want to go. I want to give them. I want. I, I want to be with them. I, I want to love them. I want to move in with them. I want to marry them. I want to celebrate with them. Thinking, manifesting. This person is here. Nightmare. They're in the nightmare. And this is their nightmare. There it is. This is indeed manifestation. I'm picking up on the manifestation of your person. What stops them? This. This stops them. And this stops many people from feeling love. This. This. Don't swear, Cher. Just keep it together. Because you all know who this is. This is drinking. Drugs. Big time gambler. Big time gamer. Can't do anything but sit in front of the TV and play freaking Fortnite day and night. Big time freaking addiction. Prescription pills. Anything, anything that can break two people apart, that's this. It is because of this that this is not working. So what was this deception? What was this seven of swords? What was this sneaky? This guy. That was a sneaky. This guy. And with drugs and alcohol and God knows what else. When a person's not in their right mind, they're liable to be talked into just about anything. And just about anything could have happened here. 
because we got the devil between these two people. It stops them from falling in love together and from having their dream, their wish fulfillment. So this right now, my darling Aquarius, all of this is just manifestation. Thinking, thinking all the time. Thinking all the time. My cup runs over. That's a divine world card. This is an ending. Moving from one cycle into another. Your person's getting ready to make a move. They're stepping out of this cycle and moving into another. But where are they going? Are they going to go out the front door and circle the house and come in through the back and go through the same house again? Or are they going to step out? into something new. What are they going to do? This is definitely a younger person. Definitely a younger person. Page of Swords. And you know who that is. That's a bastard. Huh? Now, what does he have to say? This is a messenger. Sometimes not a good messenger. Sometimes a messenger who is very, very deceiving. And what he has to say is, here it comes. It's being called up. Being called up from the dead. Being risen. Trumpet sounds and the dead rise. It's coming around again, Aquarius. Holding on to it real tight. This person's having a very, very hard time releasing you, darling. What is this three? So what is the swords guy telling us? What is this messenger telling us? The three is marriage. Look at this. Marriage doubled up. Marriage, marriage. What does that mean? Marriage, marriage. Could be someone that's married. Could be someone who is married, but separated. Not divorced yet. Married, married. Married, wants to get married. You are indeed the, print, the empress to this person. You are indeed. But they've got to bust a move. Because what I got is... What I have is, help me. <laughs> Man, my brain just, just died. Just died. All right, spirit, bring her back. What I have here is manifesting. Manifesting. This person's in sorts person wants to come and, and bring the truth. Ending with a new beginning. Stepping out of one cycle. Going into another. Ending. New beginning. What are they willing to fight for? Oh my god. All right. Spirit, speak to me. Speak to me. Help me use my intuition. Help me use my intuition. Speak to me. Marriage. Person could already be married but not living together. Separate it. Possibility of divorce. Wanting to marry. Again, wanting to marry Aquarius, who they feel is the Empress. Having a hard time moving, but judgment's going to freaking, uh, <laughs> judgment's going to move them. That's for damn sure. 
willing to fight to the end. This is a warrior. If we were back, think about your person for a moment and tell me if it would resonate. If we were back in the 14 or 1500s, or back in the days of Vikings, they were savage beasts. They surely, they truly were. But they always had a cause that they fought for. Always had a cause. This person is almost like a warrior. Like they do very well if they were back in the days of the Vikings. They would be a very powerful and front man, front soldier. This is a person that just not only fights, but they're strong and they're steadfast. And when they believe something, my God, don't try to talk them out of it. Because, man, they believe it. And when I got that kind of power and that kind of force behind this Ten of Swords, this ending, can only tell me one thing. This person's like a Viking right to the very friggin' end. This person is willing to fight to the very end. This person loves you very, very much. And they're willing to fight to the end. No matter what. No matter what. High Priestess Pisces. Using intuition. Using their intuition. Staying on their course. Oh my God. Using their intuition now. They know. They feel. They're, they're here. They are the great magician. They are manifesting like crazy. Using high priestess manifesting like crazy through their intuition and staying on their course staying on course fight to the end this person is going to come back if you end it I have no doubt that they will accept it but they will fight that decision. They will do everything in their power. Everything in their power to fight your decision. To make you try to see a different way. Great passion here. There's great love, there's great passion. This is a whole new beginning whole new beginning why why does the tower come in why and this why they want a whole brand new beginning Aquarius are you going to say no I can't see it spirit speaks I can't see it, but what I can see is probably Aquarius. Now, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just going to blurt it out because Char hears it, Char speaks it. What I have is there may be a mind game here. Aquarius might say, you know what? No. I want to tell you, if you say no, those two cards there, that's an S word. That's suicide right there. That's what that is. That's suicide.
that is so as low as you can go absolutely no hope ten of wands on the back going through the tower that's someone feeling I'm done I I can't keep going on they're willing to fight to the freaking end and if this is the ending then let me tell you this is a nasty ending this is someone who just might do something if you know what I mean and why I said I just freaking said it didn't I Aquarius some kind of mind game because I feel Aquarius you love this person but I think also that you want some sort of a checkmate for what they did to you let them come crawling back so I can look at them and say no thanks checkmate how's it feel I don't know what Aquarius I'm picking up on but I know you're out there I know you're out there and it's very hard to hear this. It's very hard to admit to yourself, I love them to death. But I'm going to tell them no. And you know, Aquarius, you know you're not going to tell them no. And if you do, you're going to change your mind. And you know you are. Because you love them. So don't play the game, okay, darling? Because that's what I got here, playing the game. Just so this person's going to be shattered. Checkmate. And then wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Aquarius. Be careful. Don't play this game. All right. I know this person hurt you terribly. And what I have here is another devil card with the eight of swords. This is double devils, what I got here. Double devil. This person has a real bad addiction. Really bad. Double devil. But what I have, Aquarius, is um, you've been terribly, terribly hurt. And I know you still love them or else you wouldn't even be looking at tarot. You wouldn't be asking about them. Right? You'd be moving on. But I also feel very much too that you want payback. You want to see them suffer. You want them to pay for what they did. And I see it here. They will come. Yep. They will. Right now they're manifesting like crazy. But judgment will make it come. The trumpet sounds. They will come. And when they do, they're going to just pour their freaking heart out to you. It's going to start off so easy and so slow, like, Hey, how are you? Merry Christmas. I, I hope you have a good... A wonderful new year. It's going to sound so innocent. And it's not going to sound like uh, they don't love me. They're just texting me. I, I just have Aquarius here that's just might shut this person down. And then change their mind. They just got to have that payback. That checkmate. I don't know about you guys, but I've been there. I've done it. Just so I could see the pain in their eyes. And if I can do it, I know you guys can do it. I know some of you can do it. But yeah, you'll see the pain in their eyes. And then you're going to take the leap. Aquarius, that's what I have for you tonight. Holy crap. Okay. All I know is that they love you to death. They do. 
They were a real jerk. And they really hurt you. But I see they love you to death. Thanks for joining me tonight. Aquarius. Namaste.